Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel Fishing with Norby. I'm eating my oatmeal here. We are sitting in first place in the Major League Fish and Tackle Warehouse Invitational here on Lake of the Ozarks. Super excited to get out there today. Today is day two and we need to come in with another big bag. We're going to do the similar and same thing as yesterday. We're going to go fish brush and we're gonna go fish docks. So, I've got about 100 bed fish marked. I did not touch any of them yesterday. It's been three or four days since I've looked at any of them, so the chance of those still being there is probably slim, but there's gotta be fish in the areas because there were a lot of fish in those areas. So, that's a last resort. We're gonna hit those if we need to. Um, we're gonna start where we did yesterday. But we're probably going to have to fish new water because I don't think these brush piles are reloading. I think these fish, from my past experience, you throw in a brush pile, you catch one, they get spooky. The next day they don't bite as good, and especially the third day. <laughs> but we're going to find out. We're going to go fish the same stuff to check it out because I've never really done it here this time of year at Lake of those arcs. So, excited gonna get out there we do have a lot of new water to run that we did not hit yesterday and found in practice so I am excited about that but we got a camera boat with us all day and a cameraman on the boat all day so it's gonna be fun what a blessing to be sitting in first place after day one here so we had 21 pounds eight ounces yesterday Flip a little strike king finesse jig, rage crawl. We're gonna start out doing that. See you guys here at takeoff in a minute. Also gonna check the Bass Forecast app to see what it says about today. I'm excited to pull it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you our screen here. But we're gonna click on Lake of those arcs. Oh my gosh. I've never seen the bass forecast rating this high. It says 8.4. Wow. 8.4 out of 10. That's the best bass forecast rating that I've ever seen. It says good. Fish should be active. Adapted pattern locations. Top five baits are uh, for the spawn, the craw, jerk bait, top water frog, bladed jig. Or rattle trap for rock. We're gonna be fishing mainly wood. Let's get wood. Shaky head jig. We have that tied on. Uh, then a frog up shallow if we find any. Uh, jerk bait and crawl and tube. We're throwing a jig with a crawl. All right, that's exciting. Let's see when the feeding windows are. Uh, right before takeoff, <laughs> of course. And then from 12 to 2. That's exciting. We got us a full moon. Uh, it is it is awesome. The barometric pressure. What's it doing? Let's see. The weather shows us our temp. We got wind out of the south, south, east. 10, 11 miles an hour. Barometric pressure is about the same. I'm going to go back and we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. It says back of... Uh, Coves, spawning areas, migration routes, secondary points. All right, and it's got docks on there too. So this is sweet, and it has flats near spawning areas. We're kind of fishing, kind of fishing brush in the back of this, the creeks like this. Wow, that's awesome. So let's see if we don't get bit, we could try a little uh, soft jerk bait or a Texas rig crawl. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be throwing a frog today. But, that's cool. So, I'm excited. They should be munching today. Front moved in on the Ozarks, and it's a warm front. It's going to be 88 tomorrow, so the front's moving in today. Alright, let's go get them.
Ledlaker. We got a ride to our boats. How you feeling? Got a pull these little bits out right here, so I ain't ready. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we gotta turn it on first. <laughs> How you feeling? Dude, I'm ready. All right. Comeback day, Norby's in the lead. Guess what the Bass Forecast app said? What? 8.4 out of 10. <laughs> That's the highest I've ever seen. Remember the last time you said that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whack spotted bass. That video is just seven and a half thousand views. Hey, yeah. All right, it's dark. You can't see us anymore. Here we go. All right, just getting on the water. What's up, Laker? What up? You ready? Yeah, let's go, dude. All right, it's gonna be fun. Go dude, you're leading the, the dang tournament. Thank you, man, thank you. And you're sitting good, you just need, you need 50, 15, 15 pounds. pounds or so, you make that top 50 cut? Hey, look. Move up. I'm shooting for a check, this guy's shooting for the win. We, we pulled it for Norby today. Thank you, bro, thank you. Go get him. Go get him, baby. What up, brother? You good too, man. You good to see you too. Go yeah, whack him again. Yeah, you too. You know yeah, it. Man. You know it's it. It's gonna be fun. I'm in the same boat as Laker. Yep. Hunting for a check. Get that top for the 50. Win. We're pulling get him. for you, brother. Go We're sack him up. You. It's gonna be fun. All right, here we go. Let's get ready for takeoff. The national anthem and the prayer. Well, Mark Rose came through. I ran out of Strike King finesse football jigs yesterday. I broke a few off in the brush. Appreciate you giving me a few. Let me have a few. Hey, I just want to cut, man. I just want to cut. Dinner. <laughs> Maybe dinner? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. No, I uh, hope you catch I, him today, I hope man. You do well with He's him, sitting, buddy. you're right around the top 25, aren't you? Yeah, I'm right there. All right. We'll go get him. I looked up to Mark for a long time. Long time, one of the first fishermen I saw giving, giving Jesus the glory on stage. So, pretty cool. Let's go catch him, guys. Yeah, get some of that leader luck. Uh oh, pump gel going on, son. Uh oh. Relax. Stop, dude. He's putting that thump gel. You gotta gel. wait till the camera's rolling through that. No, you want some. I'm gonna do it throughout the day a lot. I did it every Start single. It on your real handle. I did it so yeah. much. Like lotion. Lotion. Put it on the lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I on, the lips. <laughs> on your lips, yeah. You out of the sea. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh, I had one. He let it go. Ah. He picked it up, and I set the hook right when he let it go. And it hooked a pile. <laughs> That's all right. They did that to me four times yesterday. Oh, no. Felt a little tip. I picked it up and let it go. Yeah. <laughs> four times. I think it was some sort of gar carp. Yeah. Little guy. First one of the day. All right, they're gonna eat. Got a forecast that said they're gonna eat. They're gonna eat. All stretched out. You betcha. I just want to know about the Dollar Jerky Club. The Dollar Jerky Club? Yeah, that's where it's at. Let me set the hook first. <laughs> Not quite big enough, but he's a healthy one. Number two for the day. 
no keepers yet yeah that dollar jerky club he actually gave me a 50 percent off code for everybody he's never done that code bass 50 all caps on dollarjerkyclub.co get you it's like the dollar shave club it's a monthly subscription it's way cheaper than like buying jerky at the gas station they have some amazing flavors stuff that's not in the stores it's good stuff i snacked on it at my tournaments they're gonna bite today folks we already caught two it's 704 Come on, buddy. <laughs> he is just spiraling in. Baby. They're biting, though. They're biting. We caught a five right over here yesterday. Had three keepers all in what we just fished. I don't know if he's going to keep or not. Nope. Maybe. Doubt it. Check him out. He is 14 and 3 quarters. Little guy. <laughs> another little guy it's like the same story as bed fishing out here this morning A ton of those they're fun too though we're gonna run into them after yesterday seeing what they did yesterday i'm pretty excited Got him. Man, he was behind the log. He felt big. Whoo, he got my heart going. <laughs> he got me going. They did not reload, <laughs> if you're wondering. And the ones that are in there from yesterday are smart. Saw a couple giants follow me, but they didn't need it. Yeah, they learned a little something. When I caught that five, three of them shot at it yesterday. And there was one in that pile today, and he went down and then he just turned away. Didn't even give it a chance. Good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right. Oh, right, come back here. Thank you, Lord. Whoo, there we go, boys and girls. All right. We got the skunk out. And it's not a little one. Man, he ate that thing. Oh, that's how you want to eat it right there. I'm gonna go 380. 
let's see what it is. Zeroed out. He is 383. Number one for the day. We're just gonna make the right side of the live well, or the left side of the live well, the big side today. You guys saw it. That one's for my wife right there. First one of the day, biggin'. That one's for Cody. One of those every two hours be all right. Or every hour. Chance of getting stuck in this one, 90%. Oh, there's one on there. <laughs> A fish ate it first. Man, so many of these 14s. There we go. Morning. Morning how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, are you? Good. Catching a bunch of slabs. I just caught two so far, just got out here. Yeah. You ever heard of that thump gel? What? Thump gel? Uh -huh. Throw it on using a jig? Uh, curly tail. Yeah, I'll give you some if you want to try it. Yeah. It makes some eat. We got that pink thump gel and the chartreuse juice. I use that for bass sometimes, but this pink one for crappie is lights out. We'll give him a couple. You see me on the water, I just might give you some. It's like 10 bucks a two. What's your name? Adam. Adam, nice to meet you, I'm Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Here you go, man. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate Try it out. It, it really makes them hold on to it and they follow it and then they'll eat it. So, yep. Yeah. Right. Get you, man. Nice meeting you. Man, he felt good. He was behind the limb, too. A lot of fish today already. All right, it's been a minute. Caught my five off this dock yesterday. We'll see if anybody's home. Somebody's home right there, though. Be a keeper. Come on. It's long and skinny. I think it's going to be 14 and a half. 
14 and three quarters with his mouth open. And you can't have the mouth open. Close. Close. It's, it's been a fun day. Only one keeper. It's a worse average than yesterday on size. But that'll change. That'll change. What's cool about this area is there's a bunch of gizzard shad balls. I'm talking five, six inch gizzard shad all over this area. I think that's what's making it uh, produce like it has for me. The biggins are just holding up in these piles, waiting for these gizzard shad balls to swim by. And then they're gorging themselves. I pulled up to one of my big piles we're going to next. In practice, there were four giants in it. They swarmed my bait in practice. And I didn't even cast my jig in there because I had 19 pounds. I threw a big old swim bait in there and they all shot out to it, followed it, didn't eat it. It's probably a mistake because they would have ate the jig. Maybe they will today. They are gorging up on those old gizzard burritos. All right, now we're gonna run over there. Speaking of that spot, let's make a move. First move of the day, 9 a.m. Come on, be a keeper. Nope, not gonna keep. Might have kept. I don't know why he pulled off. I don't think he was a keeper though. Well, guess we're gonna get out of here now. I did get a bite. He did get a bite. He might have kept. He was real close. Right. What'd you say? We're live? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got a bass chasing my jig to the bottom right now. I'm excited. The wind's blowing. We just moved coves, moved spots for the first time today. And it's setting up right, I think. We're sitting on the back side of the wind, casting into the wind, bringing it. A uh, little finesse jig over these brush piles and got a little three inch rage crawl in there what we were throwing yesterday basically and we've caught a lot of fish today we've caught about 15 fish but only one is measured so I don't know if the quality in these piles just went down today or if we picked through them too hard yesterday which is what I think we did I uh, we, we just caught all the good ones that wanted to eat yesterday. And today, we're gonna have to fish some new piles. Pick the quality ones off of those. We got a couple new stretches. I hit this yesterday. We are going to hit it again because I know the biggins live here. And then we're gonna run some new water right after this that I didn't fish since about day two of practice. Last try. No way. No way. Clip that one. 
<laughs> that wasn't the giant down there but there's fish rolling through this point so we might have to circle back here in about an hour there'll be a reset they're roaming this point that's a new one that just moved into the pile we casted a few others for a minute he is 250 248 number two thank you lord there we go hey we're just starting we're just starting things are heating up got old fatty in there got a decent one I just lather that thing up on the trailer. It's got all that flake in it. And I lost my cap. <laughs> it's not as bad as dipping dye spilling in the boat, but it's pretty sticky. All right. I can't believe it. I just took the troll motor off spot lock. I put it on high and we started moving and then he bit. Don't. That fish was in nine feet off that point on a brush pile. All right, here we go. You ready, Robert? It's time. I don't know what is biting me. It didn't have it forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Begging. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll fire him up driving over the piles. I'm gonna hit a couple more over here. I need one. Yeah. I had to call 911 this week. I, I was fishing in this cove. There was smoke rolling out like 10 times that and I went over there and looked and it looked like a brush fire my buddy Andrew Banky was actually in the cove when I went in there and he's a fireman and he's we didn't we looked and we watched a little while we didn't see anybody around and it was getting close to this house on the lake yeah I don't know if a campfire got out of control or what but I called 911 and they came they started putting it out. They called in a backup truck. I mean, this fire is 50 yards wide going up the hillside. Next. One more cast and we're out. It's getting hot.
beautiful today. He's not gonna keep. Baby. Smoked it though. That one will keep. Oh, just kidding. My goodness. How many of these 14 inches are we going to catch? He felt good. 14 and a half. <laughs> oh, my. They're just being a little more finickery today. It's a word. Will foul. Will Fowler and I made up crappie fishing. Finnickery. We only need the right five to commit. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. It's gonna be 71 today. The wind died down a little bit. Nice out. I think they're a little more lethargic today. I do. I think they have changed, for me at least. They were eating a little better yesterday, but I've only hit one new area. I'll really have a, a good answer after this next stretch. So there was, it's a long stretch and there's a few piles here and there and they bit a wacky rig here and there. I haven't been back, so we'll find out the next hour will tell us a lot and then we'll go from there based on how how that goes just realized i didn't trim my skirt on this jig i'm gonna go ahead and do that i like trimming it just below the hook okay all right got some brush pile coming up last one we're gonna hit in this cove time to pack it up and Run to the next spot. There we go. Big in, not. There's a spot I could keep it. I like this wind a little more already. Came to the windy side. Oh man, he ate it real good for a little guy. Yeah, it is. Wow. That's the one that the goose is on. That's the one I saw in practice. We're going to get right up next to it. You'll be able to get a good shot of the Mr. Goose. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> They're reminding us that they don't want us here. There's one. Please keep. I think he's gonna keep. All right, thank you, Lord. How about that? He looks fat, but I don't know if he's long enough. You better believe it. Number three, 15 and three quarters. All right, he was down there on a dock piling, concrete slab. I missed him the first two casts. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta restart this. He is 197. We'll take him. Gladly take him. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Here we go. That's how they're supposed to bite it. Yeah. Pull in, bite, bite, bite. Those ones were little ones, but I did shake off a good brush fish right there in practice. We're about to be over there in a minute. Oh, I just missed another one. Pulled me down. A little wind cranking in here today. It's been... I think the difference in where we just were and here is the wind has been out of the south for two days now. This is a south facing cove. This whole side is I'm getting excited guys. I'm getting excited. That bait, everything's been blowing in here, stirring stuff up. Should be a little better. Gotta play the wind direction and usually that helps turn the fish on. Yeah, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's one. Feels like he's going to keep. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not. Look at that. 14 and three quarters. I think that's about our tenth one of those today. Do you think it's possible to, to target larger fish? Yes and no. The ones that are four plus, if they're sitting straight at you, they, they don't look like a four. If your bait falls and you see them turn, you're like, oh man, that's a big one. But if it's just sitting there, I don't think you can tell, especially if it's facing away from you that, and it picks that tail up, live scope really doesn't tell you how big the fish is. But if you see them turn on your bait, you can, you can tell it's a good one. But sometimes a two pounder will, will make you think you have a, a big one because it'll start out sideways and then get excited and it, it'll look like a big one too. But you can tell when it's a real big one though. Yes, you can target by the fish. My buddy Jack does it for crappie. He'll get up close to the crappie in these crappie tournaments. Jack Daniel, he's fishing this tournament. And uh, he says he zooms in to 30 feet and measures them before he even casts at them, which is crazy. I've never done that. No. <laughs> 14 and a half, folks. Maybe he'll go 15. He's long. Another long one. And. Oh, 
That one's real close. Mouth is closed. He touches, look. He touches. Mouth is totally shut. Right there. Yes. <laughs> that is a squeaker. Thank you, Lord. Wow. That's as close as it gets. We're going to call him out there later. He was in a little pile. One... He is not that heavy. 161. That's a baby. Number four is 161. We'll call him out. They're definitely biting a lot better in this cove. I don't know if... I think it's a combination of having not fished it and the wind is cranking in here just right. Oh my gosh. That thing hit like a freight train. I thought I had me a big one. My goodness. <laughs> Did you hear how hard that thing hit? I set the hook and it just kept pulling drag. Just zzzz. Wow. All right. Mad male. I don't think we need to measure that one. 16. We got our limit. What time is it? 1210 got our limit by noon not bad not bad time to start calling guys thank you lord he is 209 number five we got a 161 to get rid of next Keep swimming off that way, so we'll chuck it over there. I don't see him. There's a bed over here too. Nothing on it. That one's a little shallower. They're feasting. Get in front of the hungry ones. Told myself I was gonna put sunscreen on when I got a limit going to. My arms are starting to feel it. Baby. Everything we fish today has had this many fish, folks. They're just not biting in those other places. They are here. Very thankful. Yeah, it's gonna be rough tomorrow. We are not anywhere near uh, big boats and there's some major waves from big boats rolling in here. <laughs> it's gonna be real rough tomorrow. 
Unless it rains all day, that might keep them away. Not all of them though. Those yachts are covered. They don't get wet in the rain. All right, there's two beds right in here. One of them had a good one. Some brush too, huh? Just gonna sit on these buoys. Oh my gosh, we just broke one off. No, we didn't. We didn't break him off. The hook's gone. Or the bait's gone. <laughs> Can't talk. I'm trying to do three things at once here. It did. That was a good one. We're using the Strike King Ocho Senkos Green Pumpkin Gold and Purple. That fish would not move his head. That's a good one right there. That'll maybe call that squeaker. Yeah, for sure. Oh gosh. And then it came out. Oh, he was just sitting there with it. Felt just like the brush pile. It's like, man, I guess that's a fish. Hook sets are free. Before this dude, we had 12 pounds. We had 11.90. Now he's a 180. It's gonna, <laughs> he gives us about three ounces. Cole's out number three. We have 12.18. Number three, where you at? This little dude was fat. That doesn't look right. That does not look right. Did I put him on the wrong coal tag? Number four. That looks right. Number four. We're going to look at our scale again. Got to be careful. Don't want to make a colon mistake. Yeah, it was number four. All right. See you, buddy. You can get in your head easy and just not think straight. All right, a little over 12 pounds. Not bad, not bad. He did feel bigger than that, I will say. We're, we're about to catch one bigger than that. He was in a dock, but he was still in a brush pile. I'm a, I love brush pile fishing. Oh, one is charging it right now. And boom. <laughs> That's fun. He was tucked so tight to the bottom, I could barely see it. Another thing about trying to gauge the size of the fish, if you're looking parallel with the drop, you can't see very good on live scope. Because it reads... All, all different parts of the drop just a little differently uh, looking straight down the bank you can see a little better but if there's a rock or something that fish is behind it you can't see that fish at all sometimes especially big boulders there we go come on be a better one three in a row out of this dock that's another keeper he is not going to help us That's fun though. Bam, bam, bam.
baby. Where are the biggins? Feels good. Yeah, that one's gonna help, I think. Oh yeah, thank you, Lord. All right, that'll help. Woo! I'll be doing that now. Oh, look at that jig hanging there. <laughs> wow. Came out in the net. That one's over three. Eh, it's skinny, but he's a good one gonna pull that 180 that's what we've been waiting on doing the same thing we've been doing all day fishing brush three three and a quarter coals are 180 we're at 13 and a half pounds healthy one right there I'll take a couple more of those number four is a goner there's the coal. One less than two pounds. That'll work. Thank you, Lord. Too windy. That's picking up. I'm gonna lose that hat. All right, we're just pulling in to weigh in. Had a decent day. It was a little tougher to get the big bites on me. Uh, first fish of the day came after about an hour, hour and a half, but it was almost a four pounder. And I, I thought sticking out in the brush all day, I would get some more quality bites. I caught about 30 fish today, seven or eight keepers. And I think I got about 13 pounds is all. Uh, couldn't get another big bite. I missed a couple. I did break one off. It was behind the limb, so I don't know how big it was, but we we bed fished a tiny bit, caught one of our keepers on a wacky rig behind the dock, but every other fish we caught came out of brush, and I really thought we'd run into a couple bigger ones. We fished a lot of new water that we didn't hit yesterday, but that's how it goes. I'm excited to see where this puts us. We had an amazing day yesterday. I know we'll make day three tomorrow, so we're gonna figure a little something out and switch it up again. Time to bag them up.
that mic right there. What's up? Andrew Nordby, he was your leader from yesterday, 21-8 yesterday. He's got five fish in the bag, but it took him a while to scrounge them up. It took him a while to figure things out. Today, a little tougher day for him, and folks, he'll be fishing tomorrow. Today, he's got 13-12 for your total, 35-4 for Andrew Nordby. You're hunting uh, tomorrow, man. You're going to go hunting. Great job. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Yeah, my area's kind of dried out, the ones that I left there yesterday. Okay. You got smart, yep. and uh, we had to fish a lot of new water today, caught about 30 fish, huh? a lot of things. Tomorrow? We're going to run new water tomorrow. All we're right. Get them. All right, good luck to you, buddy. Thank you so much. Jared Littner. Littner. All right, guys, we just weighed in. We had almost 14 pounds. We had 13 pounds, 12 ounces. It has us sitting in fifth place going into day three. I'm excited, very happy with fifth place in my first year in the pro tournament. So uh, we're leading day one, we're in fifth now. I'm excited to see how we do tomorrow. I'm gonna go out and eat some dinner tonight with Mark Rose. We are boated up and uh, we're gonna connect a little bit. Maybe we can get out there fishing, make, make some video for you. But uh, I've always looked up to Mark. Awesome dude, amazing angler, and he's, he's faith based. He, he does what he does for the Lord, and I love that. So now let's go uh, get packed up, go to dinner, go get settled in, download our camera footage, everything else, and we'll see you guys bright and early. Probably the next video coming out is when we'll see you. But it'll be bright and early for tournament day number three. Let's go get them here on Lake of those Ozarks. I'm so excited, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I appreciate all of you for watching, supporting. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next episode here, Fishing with Norby.